hello everyone welcome to the google snippet channel so in today's video we'll be talking about um, downloading a file from firebase storage to our local machine using go so before i jump into the video i would like to mention them um, a few things so first of all if you are new to the channel make sure you um, subscribe to the channel because what we do here is all things go and um, if you're not new to the channel we have been watching videos but for some reason you haven't subscribed please also consider subscribing so with that and if after watching the video if you like the content of the video make sure you hit the thumbs up so with that move into the um, code so before we go into the code proper i also like to mention that i made like um, a there's like um, a part one to this video so this video is like a continuation of a video i made before where um, i showed how to upload videos to um, upload files rather to um, firebase storage using go so in that video we talked about um, how to set up projects and um, how to generate the prerequisites that will be needed for connecting to firebase with go so this is basically two things so i'll just come to my firebase console here so this is my project so we talked about the first thing which is um, generating like a service account key so i'll come to project settings then i'll come to service account so when i come to service account down here now you can click this generate new private key which is basically the service account key and if i come to this place where it says go it shows us like a code snippet on how to use our service account key to connect to um, firebase storage so that is basically the first now the second thing is also creating a storage bucket so if i come to storage here so this is my storage bucket here and we also need the id for the storage bucket which is what is here so in the last video um, we talked about those two but i also want to like have a recap of that so this was the file we uploaded to firebase in that video which is this by cargo file image this image here so in this video we'll be talking about downloading this image back to our local machine using go and um, firebase storage so that is basically what we'll be doing in this video so with that let's jump into the video so the first thing that we'll do is basically um, load my app.m file so this here so this is my app.m which is just holding the name of the bucket uh, which is holding the id of the bucket trailer which is this id that is here so that is basically it so i'll also load the environmental variable and this is the private key i generated earlier so it is meant to be private so i won't click on it so you won't see the content of the json file it's a json file basically so because that is like the window of your, your window into your firebase account so it's meant to be kept private so that's the first and the next thing is i'll create an option a client options with the service account key then I'll connect to Firebase using function new from package Firebase, which is this package here with the client option. So three arguments, context, then after the context, next in three arguments, the context, the Firebase config and the client option. So that's context, Firebase config is just new, which is meant to be a pointer. So if I click over on it, so this is a pointer to Firebase config and the client options. Then I'll check for the error. I'll just handle the error if there's any error. Then from there, I need to connect to storage. So to connect to the storage, I'll just use the method storage on this my variable app here. And this one takes in just the context. I'm not using context background. And I'll also check for the error. Then from there, we need to move into the bucket from our storage. So in the last video, I talked about the concept of buckets and objects. So buckets is just basically a place in your Firebase storage where you store files. And then objects are the files that you store inside the bucket. So for my storage, I need my bucket. So I'll, just dip, I'll use the method buckets on this client variable that is returned from the method storage. So this one gives me two return values the buckets and one an error so i'll just handle the error then i'll be having my bucket handle so it takes in one argument which is the name of the bucket i actually want to connect to and that bucket is just basically this id that is here so i'm just using os get m to get the bucket name which is basically the key for that field bucket name so the reason why this is possible is because i already did go.env load that up app.m so what this does is it just temporarily replaces my environmental variables to be the variables in this app.m so that is it then the next thing we need to target is the object which is basically the file the buckets that we want to download so the name of that object is what this method object will be doing for us. so if you call the method object on this bucket and to take in one argument which is the name of the object and the name is basically this by cargofar.jpg which is this here so once I, once I have that, the next thing I want to get is the attributes of that particular object. So I can use the attributes method on this object handle to get the attributes. So this is why I'm getting this attribute is because I need to create a file that will be like a placeholder to hold that particular object, which is the file, this image here. So to do that, I'll just do OS create. Then OS create takes in one argument, which is basically the name of the file I want to create. I'm just using attributes.name. So if I do 
Mm. Go dog firebase attributes. Mm. Let me just copy this whole thing here. Attributes. Mm. I'm not taking the what is happening this is the name of the package good dog where is attributes coming from hmm. okay let me do good dog go attributes attributes this one returns object attributes okay let me just do object attributes good dog let me do object tree attributes. Let me see if I get this premise correctly. Object object attributes this. So that is it. So let me just check for this. So sorry, I didn't prefix it with good doc. Sorry for this delay, darling what is happening oh it's meant to be from package storage my bad good dog storage I objects attributes not firebase anymore attributes all right so this is what i'm looking for so this attributes object attributes which is the return value when we call this method attrs is actually um, a so Let's see, so it's a struct, okay. So it's a struct and it has all this following field. So bucket is the first field. So this one does basically return the bucket that the object belongs to. Then it has this name. So this name will just return the name of the particular object that we are targeting. So I'm using that particular field name here to create a file which will be a placeholder to hold our object. Then from here, I just handle the error, then I also um, defer the close of the file just to free up space. And the next thing I'll need to do is to create a reader because we need to create a reader that will help us read a particular object into this file that we created here. So with that, I'll be using the method new reader on our object handle. So new reader takes in one argument, which is um, a context. I'll just pass in context background and I'll search, check for the error. So it returns two variables, a storage reader and an error. So I'll just call it reader and an error. So I'll defer the close of the reader also. And then from there, I'll simply copy. So I just use IO copy. So IO copy copies from the source to destination. So the first argument is the destination, and the second argument is the source. So the destination is this file we created here as a placeholder, so which is basically F. And then the source is from this reader that we're using to read our object from our object handle. So that will be this. Then I'll just handle the error. And if everything goes well and there are no errors, we'll just simply print image upload successful or image download successful rather. Cheers. So let's see how that works. So before I run the code, I'd like to also um run a three seconds commercial break so just three seconds if you are yet to subscribe to the channel subscribe three seconds okay so if you subscribe to the channel i really appreciate and if you haven't subscribed and um, please consider subscribing just help me go the channel so if you look at this place now i don't have any file here so when it downloads successfully you see the backup go file image will come to this place so i'll just do go run main dot go so just look at this place while it runs. So it says image upload successful and the image appears. So if I click the image, so this is the image here, our back cargo file image. So this is it here. So basically that is how the code runs. So that will be it for this video. So I'll drop the link to the former video where I actually showed how to um, upload images from our local machine to Firebase storage using Go. I'll drop the link um, of that video in this video description so you can also go and check that out also and also make sure you um, drop a thumbs up if you like the content of that video also and also this one also if you like what you've seen in this video also drop a thumbs up and um, make sure you also hit the notification bell very very important and um, make sure you activate it for all post notifications so change it from personalized to all so when I release new videos you'll be the first to be notified um, and also if you have any comments or any questions or any criticism constructive criticism also drop it down in the comment section i really um, like to read your comments or what you have for me and also if you have um, videos ideas that you want me to um, touch also drop them down in the comment section also 
So that will be it for this video. Cheers. Thanks.